everyone, it's Claire from Scrappy Nerd UK and welcome to a mega haul video. So I have treated myself to some new supplies recently and I wanted to, I thought I would just film a quick video to show you exactly what I've picked up recently and um, where I've bought from. So first of all, um, some exciting news is Joanne's in the US now ship to the UK. Um, so I placed myself a little Joanne's order. It took about two and a half weeks to turn up. So it was quite a, a long um, delivery process, but it's here and I just wanted to show you. Um, I did also pick up a few other bits as well from Joanne's, but they're duplicates. So I've popped them in my sale box um, because I had them in a kit recently. So this is what I picked up. So first of all, I grabbed the um, Distress Oxide in Picked Raspberry for my collection. And if you haven't seen this before, this is my Distress Oxide bingo card. And um, these are all the colours that I've got. And this is a great way for me to be able to know where I've got some gaps of colours that I really need. And picked raspberry. <clears throat> Excuse me. I used to have it in the Distress. Um, but I've now picked it up in the Oxide. <clears throat> because I've got rid of all of my Distress ones. Um, so yeah, I've got a new ink. I did also buy Broken China. And I've just got that in a kit. So that's one of the things that I have added to my sale box. Um, so then I picked up the Paige Evans uh, Splendid Florals. And you get... 50 in there i always love the page evans florals all that pack split on the side hopefully nothing's fallen out so i picked up those then i also got the maggie holmes round trip stamps i loved the aeroplane um but the camera's very useful the little label the geo tag there's a couple of stars a couple of hearts the word explorer and a few little tiny sentiments there so i grabbed those and I also grabbed the, um, this is called a stationery pack. Um, and this is also from Round Trip. And in here, you get, there's only 20 pieces in here. Um, but you get, it just looks like an ephemera pack. Um, but I think you get um, little pockets. Uh, yeah, you get little, um, like little ticket pockets. And there's some stitched detailing on some of these as well. So um, I grabbed that as well. So I think there's sort of three different ephemera packs for this collection. So um, I didn't have that one. So I grabbed that. Next up, I grabbed the um, the Cricut Joy. So I have the little Joy and um, the little Cricut Joy. Um, but they now do the 12 inch mats. So you can actually now cut a longer cut. And these are great for being able to cut a title um, on my Cricut Joy. Rather than having to get my... Um, my Cricut um, Explore out. So I grabbed the longer mat from Joann's as well. And I also picked up these Mickey Shaker bubble stickers because they are amazing and I just needed them in my life. Um, this was the main reason I ordered from Joann's. So I wanted or I needed um, a new Happy Planner because my one runs out at the end of July. And um, so I was looking for a replacement. It was actually cheaper for me to buy this from Joann's, even with the shipping cost, um, than it was to order from one in the, for uh, order one in the UK. So I went ahead and that's part of the reason why I ordered from Joann's. This time I went for the, this one's a 12 month undated. And this time I went for the dashboard style. So I wasn't actually aware that they came in different styles. I've always had the vertical with the three boxes. Um, but this one is the vertical, uh, this one is the dashboard style. And um, also I didn't realise I ordered the big one. So I've now ended up with an A4 planner, which I typically get the um, classic size normally so um, it's fine it'll have to do for the next 12 months and I'll see how I get on with the bigger one so basically you get a um, a whole month um, calendar um, with bigger boxes than I'm used to with a classic but this is the um, the dashboard style so rather than having the three boxes and then having that for your whole week it's split down between errands get it done calls and emails noted focus on a little box for Monday through Sunday and then there's a small box for each day of the week and then that just repeats um, for each month of the year and then there's also a note section um, on the last page of every month as well if it's needed so um, I ordered that and then I also picked up let me move out of the way it's bulky I also picked up the Paige Evans Splendid um, Acetate these this is just absolutely stunning um, I treated myself to two because um, I probably will make a mini album or two out of these so um i just love them and i don't have them and i need them anything acetate and floral um it's me and these were 
um, again, to order from Joanne's, it was so much cheaper um, to grab them from there than it is in the UK. So I got hold of those. Now, these aren't available in the UK, I don't think. These are the um, project pads. And um, I don't know if they are exclusive to, to Joanne's, but I know that we don't get them here. Um, so I managed to pick up the round trip project pad. I will just see if I just grab some scissors and I will just see if I can open it and give you a quick, just a very quick flip of what you get in a project pad. So basically the first page is always a sticker sheet. Um, oh, actually I'm really pleased because normally the sticker sheets are on um, glossy, but these are these are and they're thicker than they used to be as well these are actually proper cardstock stickers um so i'm really happy with that these are on the side because it's easy just for me to flip and then actually this one comes with an alpha as well and again that's on the same cardstock uh, material and then we go into the papers and there is gold foiling detail so these are some of the papers that are found in actually there's gold foil on all of these so far um these are all found in the paper pad um, I haven't seen that one in the paper pad though, the, the 12 by 12 paper pad. Um, this is one of my favourites and this is in the paper pad. I know the strawberries are in the normal paper pad. I'm not sure that one is. That's definitely not in the paper pad. So there are some differences in the project pad to the normal 12 by 12 paper pad. So that's nice to see. So you get those pattern papers and then it goes into um, just solid coloured um, cardstock that matches the collection and I think there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So you get eight of the solid coloured cardstock, um, two of the sticker sheets, and then you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen of the pattern papers. So that's the round trip one. And then I also grabbed the splendid one from Paige Evans and what I want to do because I haven't bought um I haven't bought any of the collection from splendid um only bits that I've got in um kits have I um is all I've got um I thought I would just get the project pads and the I got the floral pack of ephemera and then whatever else I've got from kits I'll just um, pull together so I'm not planning on making a ton of layouts and um, because I've just got this to work with but um, this is what we've got and again these are cardstock stickers so I'm really glad that these aren't the glossy ones that you normally get um, so that's cards a uh, full sheet cardstock stickers oh my goodness look at that and then we've got a sheet of um, little words and also a colorful alpha and um, that looks to be in the same font as the little foam alphas um, and then a gold alpha in the same font as well that's very useful then we have the butterflies with some gold foiling. Then we have a pink with the gold foiling. Uh, we have this, um, I don't quite know what the pattern is, but um, that's got gold foiling on as well. This yellow floral with gold foiling. And then we've got some four by six cutter parts. Um, I'm not sure how I'd work with that background. I'll probably fussy cut those flowers and use them. The two by two little swatches. And then we have the border strips. Um, we have a notebook paper, we have a tone on tone design, a floral design, tone on tone again, zigzag, red floral, and then I think we go into the, yeah, we go into the single um, coloured cardstock. However, these actually have a texture, um, not actually on them, but these have a printed texture on them. Um, so it's kind of like a canvas texture. So we have... Um, again, I would imagine the same um, number as, that one's proper bright, <laughs> um, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so I think you get eight in there, um, the two sticker sheets, and um, I would imagine the same 14 pattern papers as the um, other project pad. And then the final one that I got from uh, Joanne's was the uh, Sweet Rush from Vicky Bootin. Again, we'll just have a look at this. And I really wasn't sold on this collection, um, but the more I've seen it, the more um, the more I like it. And that tends to happen with um, the Vicky Booting collections for me um, because I'm not a massive um, 
fan of a mixed media look the messy 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 mixed media look um but i really actually started enjoying the colors in this collection so um again we've got cardstock stickers here um a full sheet of 12 by 12 um, a 12 by 12 sheet and then we have an alpha and again i'm really loving these um tiny words on the second sheet as well and then into the papers and then we have this gold foil um almost like a wave pattern oh look at this this um, hot pink with gold foil is kind of like a holographic gold um, because it's very rainbow when you shine the light on it. So we have that one. Then we have this blue with a load of um, butterflies. This is destined to be fussy cut for sure. Then we have this white with an XO um, in that gold foiling. And then we move into the normal pattern papers. So we have this rainbow. We have a floral. We have pink and white stripe. Pink and navy blue, the multicolored hearts. Not a fan of this paper, um, but it's fine. If there's one or two that I'm not too keen on, then I still class it as a win. Um, I like that one. Again, that wavy pattern that we just sit seen in the gold foil. Not a fan of green, so that probably won't get used. Um, this one, really nice background. I think that you can just add um, some white texture stuff um, on top of it. So paint splatters or whatever and then like a teal so these are the solid colored ones so we have the teal the lime the pink the orange the pink and a different pink the blue the green and the yellow and these actually have like text print on them um, and some distressing as well so I managed to pick up those and these cost me um, because I had a voucher code as well for 20% off I think um, these cost me something like nine pounds for the project pad which I think is an absolute bargain so um, I'm really glad to have picked those up and then next I did um, a couple of orders from places in the UK so first of all I'm going to try and show you this on camera um, I'm absolutely loving the Totally Tiffany um, bits at the moment and there are so many storage ideas and so I found and I ordered this I'm just tipping it up on, on its side so you can see because I have still got um, my kit in it from a retreat that I did at the weekend and so this is um, like one of the uh, boxes from ikea um everybody uses to store their supplies in totally tiffany make this one um and it's brilliant there's room at the back for your trimmer um it holds a lot of 12 by 12 paper and anything that's um, wider or taller then you have a couple of pockets um here there's also these little plastic pockets as well that you can use to um store other bits and then further down you have i'm not too sure i'm get, if i'm getting this fully on camera um but there's little um pockets down the bottom as well and again with another little plastic um bit uh, insert uh, not insert your pocket sorry at the front here as well and these are movable so you can like not have them in if you don't want to if you want a bigger pocket and then also on the sides there are um elastic pockets on the sides and then there's also deep pockets here as well so these are perfect because they fit a 12 inch ruler um which i always am losing this so to have a space for it along with my trimmer in the back um so i picked this up directly from crafters companion and i, I know that totally tiffany is available in the us as well um, but i picked that up from crafters companion here in the uk delivery time on it is lengthy it took um they say on the website that it, um uh, dispatch can take 10 working days and i think it took about a week and a half um to um to turn up maybe two weeks to arrive um but it did arrive in time for my um, weekend retreat so i picked that up um i have i am also loving um the some other totally tiffany stuff as well um so i also got the try this is called the triangle traveler um so i picked this up which matches my um my little i think it's called a, a craft workstation what i've just shown you this is the triangle traveler and um this is i trialed it this weekend to hold my tools in and it was perfect so basically um it folds up into a triangle um and then you open it out and it's got a little toggle that um will hold the bag um depending on how how much stuff you've got in there it will hold up the front and the back using uh, with these two strings and you just toggle it tight wherever you need it to go once you've got it open and then in here there are three um there's three pouches there's a four i think it's a four five and a six inch pouch 
or a five, six, seven. I can't remember. Four, five, and six, I think. Um, and then these pouches actually just, you can pull them out. So they are just Velcroed on the bottom. And I've realised that my scissors have poked straight through that, which is not ideal. So I'm just going to pull those out because I don't want to ruin that bag. Um, I don't have a protector on those scissors. That's the problem. Um, so these bags then just go straight back in um there is the ability to be able to store if you've got some thin um anything thin that you want to store between um the pouches as well you could also put that in and that will also still um do up as well and then on the back there are four little pockets um to be able to store um anything you want tools etc the only thing that i found is if you've got anything too tall in here you can't then close it so what i've had to do is things like my pencil and my craft knife and my scissors hence why i went through the, the bag um and my paintbrush are just too tall so what i do is i just store them in this back pouch and then um when i'm actually using my tools and it sits on my desk like this um then i can just move the um the supplies into the back um the back pockets like that and then yeah it just um then folds up like so and then i just do that toggle up um like that and then it just all stays in together so i've also got that from the same place from crafters companion and <clears throat> then i also ordered just a few other bits as well which i thought i might just tag on and show you so from crafters companion um i had um had a little nosy around to um to see what else they had and i just picked up some stamps um from their sale section so this is the um the gemini wobbling elf and it came comes with a little die to make the wobble for the back of the elf as well because i know the little wobblers um that you can get for cards is actually quite expensive so it's quite nice to have a die that will create the um the wobbler um and then there's a few sentiments in there as well and i just thought it was a really cute little um a uh, little elf to be able to sit in color as well um so i picked up that and I also picked up this die that says Christmas, well, sorry, die, uh, stamp that says Christmas wishes and you just overlap the stamps. And I thought it'd be nice and easy to use for qu quick Christmas cards. Then I also picked up uh, this Christmas uh, stamp set and these are, um, these are sentiments and um, there are 10 in there. I just really like the one with the uh, the scroll on, so I'll grab those. I think those were from the sale. Um, then I also grabbed um, an embossing folder. You can't really see, but it's um, holly leaves. Um, a really nice five by seven embossing folder for again for the card making, um, and it has um, so it has a box um, that doesn't emboss in the middle, and that's ideal then for um, you can actually see the pattern here. Um, but that box in the middle was then ideal for um, sentiment or to cut out and um, make an aperture card. And then I also picked up some stamp and die pockets. And these are actually from Totally Tiffany as well. These are the medium, um, which I also have the L um, Avery L pockets and the medium ones are bigger. Um, so when they say these are medium, these are the equivalent of the small Avery L ones. Um, but I managed to get these and you get 25 pockets in each of the mediums. Um, and these are again, these were fairly inexpensive. Um, and then these are the small ones. And I assume yeah, you get 25 pockets in those as well. Um, so those are for the smaller dies that I've got. And I don't have a small enough pocket for. So um, I'm going to have fun going through my stamps and getting them all into these little pockets. But stay right where you are because I'm not finished there. Because I also um, I also ordered some stamps and some dies. So um, I saw... Sam Calcott, she's a naughty, naughty lady because she posted um, about a um, these dies that Craft Stash, Craft Stash had on offer. Um, and so, of course, I went to take a look and, of course, I had to buy them. Um, so it's Sam's fault and um, she is um, she's terrible. But um, I will quickly show you exactly what I got. And everything here was like a couple of pounds. Um, so it was an absolute bargain. So I got this Daisy May Design stencil <clears throat> and it has trees and it has um, grass and the little picket fence and more trees and i just thought this is a real great scene builder die uh, scene builder stencil um so i grabbed that 
Then along the lines of the one that I got from um, Crafter's Companion directly, I picked up the Season's Greeting stamp. So that is the other one that goes with that. So I've now got them both. Then this is the main reason I ordered. So these are the Apple Blossom dies, and I think these were like two or three pounds each. So um, it was an absolute steal. Um, these are the butterfly ones. So there's 12. I'm not going to get them out, but there are 12 um, dies in there. And these are the ones that you get. Then I also got the butterfly swoop and there's nine in there. So I think you get the eight, the, the butterfly and the backing. And then I think you also get <clears throat> a larger one. I have to open it up and have a look. And then I also got the dahlias. Um, so I love a flower die. Um, so the fact that I can just sit here and build up flowers and I can use them for scrapbook layouts and cards and all sorts um, is perfect. So I got the dahlias and I also got the rose. Um, this is a little more intense because it has individual rose petals, um, but I have the rose and then that can... Um, Again, scrapbook layouts or cards, perfect for. And then I also have the poinsettias, great for Christmas. And I love making poinsettias. Um, I'm obsessed now with different coloured poinsettias, not having to do red ones, um, especially because I think in one of the, I think it was the Rosie Studio Christmas collection, they were pink poinsettias and I love them. So I can cut out some pink poinsettias if I wish. Then I also got this, which was a, I think this was a combined set. This is the Boca Firework Flower Stamps. Um, and these are huge, um, but these are those little dandelions, but they've also got the circles in um, and some leaves, which are very helpful. And it coordinates with this stencil. Um, so this stencil will also, I mean, it could serve as, it says Boca Firework. So um, it could serve as fireworks. It could serve as um, the... Um, the flowers the dandelions as well um, and also you can create the bokeh effect with those circles and also there's some other circles there um, that can be used as well so yeah I'm really pleased to have picked those up that's probably my favorite and then I also grabbed this this stamp is huge it's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be um, I thought this would be really nice to stamp onto a card um, and just add a really simple sentiment but actually it's it's, it's really big so I'm not even sure that's going to fit on, that's not even going to fit on a five by seven card. Um, perhaps, perhaps if I trim the stem off a little bit, um, it looks like it might fit. Um, but I picked this up anyway. And again, it was only, it wasn't expensive. Um, and then it also comes with the um, coordinating die with it as well. So I'll grab that. And then also for the order, they were doing a free, um, a freebie with it as well so i picked up um well this just got added to my basket um and it's a um a john next door summer special magazine i don't know when it's from um i can't see a date on it so i don't know whether it's current or last year's or whenever it was from um, but in here you get a 68 page um inspiration magazine 14 images and sentiment stamps a five by five floral frame embossing folder 138 element paper and topper pack and three piece coordinating die set um so that's quite nice to just have that as a freebie as well so yeah i have been a bit spendy recently but um this was this was so inexpensive that um i have no issue with that my joanne's order i did a lot a, a few quite a few weeks ago so um that is just some bits that i treated myself to and then my storage um was just something that I needed to, to sort out. Um, and so I was glad to pick up those totally Tiffany bits. So um, I know it's been a super duper long haul video. I hope you've stayed with me until the end. Um, and if you have, thank you very much. And I'll see you all again next time for another video. Bye. <laughs>